Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to start working uh, with Pulse, which is IBM's um, next gen dashboard application. And it also comes pre installed <coughs> in uh, Curator. So let's go ahead and see what we get here. So this is a default dashboard, right? But I want to create a new dashboard that utilizes AQL uh, in order to display some EPS monitoring and log source monitoring. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new one, custom dashboard. And I'm going to set it as my default one. And under widgets, I am going to select a new widget. I'm going to call it um, default domain EPS, right? And my query, I'm going to select AQL. And I'm going to run it every minute. And my statement is going to be, uh, let's select domain name based on domain ID as domain double long sum of event count divided by 60 as EPS From events where domain like default domain and you can change this uh, default domain to whatever your domain names are and we're gonna group by domain group by domain order by EPS on descending order and last one minutes. So if I run this, I get an error because I forgot. Uh, yeah, this one. Okay, so this works and I get some uh, results here. For some reason it's showing as zero. That's interesting. If I go to log activity and I type this in, also zero EPS, okay. Well, let's leave it like this for now, but we'll see uh, later that it's going to change, hopefully. And under view name, let's call this uh, default domain EPS and the chart type, I'm going to do a big number here. And I want to display my EPS. And let's do best fit and data format number and display zero if no data is returned. And now I want to say that if my uh, EPS is zero, then I want to change the background color of my widget. So if it's greater or equal to zero, you know what, actually, let's, let's do, uh, let's say 10. Okay. So if it's greater or equal to 10, then I want a normal color. But if it's less than 10, I want red, right, to catch my attention. And now we can go ahead, let's try to run this again. 
some reason it's returning zero EPS. I'm not not quite sure why. Um, but still, let's go ahead and save it. And now we have our uh, first widget. And for the second widget, I want to select, let's say, uh, log source. Um, see what we have here. Yeah, top 10 log sources looks good. Let's see how it's uh, built. And yeah, we can see uh, IBM is already a, a QL query here. It says that uh, the top log source is based on the number of events processed over the past two hours. So let's run this and we can see that uh, by a large margin, our health metrics is on 73 EPS, which looks good, you know, let's go ahead and save it. And select this widget as well. Now we're going to create our dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it and I want to be displayed like here. And let me go ahead and create a new, actually um, duplicate this default domain EPS. And I want to call this one test domain EPS, right? And let's not forget to change the uh, domain here and run the query. Go ahead and save it as well. Drag it here. And now I want to go ahead and check this again. Uh, no results. Uh, because yeah, this domain does not actually receive any events, uh, which makes sense. And it's going to be uh, those widgets are going to be updating themselves every um, minute on a minute basis, right? And You know what, guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and pause the video here for a few moments because um, I want to figure out why um, why this AQL does not return any events because I know that my uh, default domain is sending events. So I'm going to pause here for a few moments, for a few moments and I'll resume uh, once I have a solution. Okay, so this was really stupid. Uh, I forgot to place a parenthesis on the correct location. So it should be like this. And don't worry, guys, I'm going to export uh, this dashboard and attach it to the course resources in a JSON format so that you can import it to your deployment as well and change it based on your uh, needs. So if I run this now, I'm getting uh, a correct result, 117. And let's change it here as well. Oh, yeah, we're still going to get zero. That's fine. So now we have a Pulse dashboard that shows us on a minute by minute basis the EPS numbers for our domains, right? And we can create as many of those as we want. We just have to go to uh, the settings here and duplicate one of our widgets and in here we have uh, top log sources for the past two hours so that's a great dashboard to get started with and of course you can uh, create any uh, any dashboard that you want uh, based on on what IBM has already supplied on the widgets uh, they supplied um, and you, of course, have the default ones here that Pulse comes pre-installed with. So we can take a look at that. But yeah, really, you, you can you can create any kind of dashboard that you want with AQL or the uh, widgets that we already have. So if I go ahead and click on export as JSON here, I can see that uh, it's showing me my 
my dashboard in a JSON format, and I'm going to attach it to this lecture so that you guys uh, can download and import it if you go to new dashboard, import, and then you can add, add the file here. And in my case, it already exists. So, you know, I have to either replace or keep both. Um, but for you, it's going to work out of the box. So make sure to play around with it and, and create new widgets for yourselves based on your organization needs. And this has been it for this video. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.